So you are done with tracking in Blender and now you want to export camera motion or even the whole scene to Unreal Engine. If so, you are in the right place, but if not, you may want to check out my tracking in Blender tutorial. When we are done, we want to pause our playback and to select the camera. Then you have to go to this properties panel and switch to constraints. If you are 100% sure you're done, you can click constraint to F curve. However, if you are not, I really recommend you to shift D and create a duplicate of the camera. That is because until we click constraint to F curve, we have a constraint with all the tracking data, but we have no actual keyframes that could be exported. When we click here, just like I did, we are creating keyframes for each frame of our camera animation. So I'm going to demonstrate it with exporting also the whole scene. And we are going to export using USD. You could export camera motion using FBX. However, USD is a bit more versatile and it works out of the box if you want to export scene with all the objects. So if you want, you can select the objects that are going to be exported just to narrow down the export and then go to File, Export and USD. Here we have to pick our export file. I'm going to keep it as is. And if you have chosen some objects and selected them, you can use selection only. Otherwise, it is going to export everything. And the most important thing is that you also turn on animation because otherwise you are not going to export keyframes. This looks fine to me. Everything else can be left as default. And now let's export. Once we are done with exporting, we can switch to Unreal Engine. But before we import the scene, let's make sure that you have all the plugins enabled. Go to Edit and then Plugins, search for USD, and all you need is USD Core and USD Importer. I recommend you to check out USD multi-user synchronization, but you don't need it at all. If those are enabled, you may need to restart Unreal, and then we are ready to go. Go to Window Panel and navigate to USD Stage Editor. Here we can go to File, Open and locate our file. Once the file is opened, we can also do some minor tweaking here. For instance, you could set frames per second. And this way, when we have a level sequence, all the settings will be correct. You can also add some frame offsets. So keep that in mind. Just briefly look it up. You could also adjust the up axis. However, for me, it's going to be fine. So now I'm ready to go to Actions menu and import. We have to find some folder where we are going to import everything. And for me, it is going to be USD assets. Let's press OK. Then you can either directly click import or pick which objects you would like to keep because here is your last chance to, for instance, disable importing one of the cubes. Import. Let's save those files. And now let's find it. We have a new subfolder and also some assets. Like this looks like assets from my blend file. But also, we are having a nice level sequence here. And also, when I opened it, I can now find the camera that has just been imported into my scene. I can also navigate to this camera. And if the level sequence is open, I can play it. So now you can see the preview in this little viewport, and it seems to match what I have in Blender. So that's how you do it. That's how you import camera and scene animation using USD to Unreal 